My friends, contemplating the music we are going to listen to and study together over these 32 lectures makes me squirmy with excitement. Works by Johann Sebastian Bach, Joseph Haydn, and Wolfgang Mozart, whose Jupiter Symphony occupies Lecture 6. Works by Ludwig van Beethoven, Franz Schubert, Felix Mendelssohn, Robert Schumann, Johannes Brahms, Peter Tchaikovsky, and Biedrich Smetna, whose epic Mavlast, meaning My Country, occupies Lecture 18. Works by Antonin Dvorak, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Richard Strauss, Gustav Mahler, Sergei Rachmaninoff, Claude Debussy, Igor Stravinsky, Charles Ives, Gustav Holst, Aaron Copeland, and Dmitry Shostakovich. Oh, be still our hearts. Fetishes, good and bad. We will acknowledge up front that our contemporary fetish for making lists can, potentially, denigrate and trivialize those very things we choose to list. The artificiality of such lists notwithstanding, they can serve a most useful purpose. This course, for example, over the last 350 years, tens of thousands of works have been composed for the large instrumental ensemble generically referred to as the orchestra. For the interested but inexperienced listener, the biggest question is, where do I start? For the more experienced listener, the question is, what works in historical hindsight are most representative of their time and place and their composer's greater output. For all of us, the question is, what do we need to know about these works in order to maximize our listening experience? This course will answer all these questions.